Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. This is video number two on Windows Form applications. And in our last video, we worked with a button and a label. What we'll do today is we're going to go ahead and add a counter to the button and we'll display how many times the button is clicked. So if this button is clicked 10 times, this label will be updated and it'll read that the button was clicked 10 times. So how do we do that? Let's go ahead and double click on the button. And we have the click event here. And what we'll need is a new variable. So we're at, we'll add it what's called a global variable. And we'll go ahead and name it times clicked. We'll set it to zero. And every time the button is clicked, we'll go ahead and add one. So times clicked equals times clicked plus one. What you're doing here is you're taking the value of times clicked and you're storing it one more time in the same variable plus one. So if I have zero at the moment, every time the button is clicked, it'll be zero plus one. And that's one. Now the second time I click the button, this variable holds one and it'll be times clicked, which is one plus one is two. And it'll go ahead and store it in that variable. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and add it to the output label. And how do we do that? We do that with what's called concatenation. Now concatenation is putting two strings together. So if I had two sentences, you click the button, I would, I would uh, concatenate them by using the plus character. So we can say 10 times. Now what happens when you have an integer? Now remember, this is an integer and this is a string. Are we able to concatenate them? We can if we use a two string method. And what this method does is it converts an integer to a string. So let's go ahead and run this program. Let's click it. You click the button one. Let's go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and concatenate the rest of the sentence. Go ahead and give it another go. You click the button one times. That doesn't sound right, but we'll, we'll let it go. Let's click it again. Two times, three times, four times, five times. Let's 